All right, <clears throat> Pisces, it's your turn for your reading for the month of December. Hope you all are doing well. <clears throat> all right. I do feel like, Pisces, you've gone through a lot of shit. <laughs> gone through a lot of stuff, personally. Um. I do feel like you're coming out of a dark period in your life and are really starting to feel better. Uh, I just feel like there's a lot of things you may need to address this month. Um, there's things concerning maybe you and its significant other that you need to, you know, communicate. Maybe there's just things within yourself that you really need to, you know, be mindful of in your life. Alright, so you have the Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands, and Page of Wands starting out. And we'll get to this in a minute. Alright, Pisces. I feel like there is a new love here for you. A lot of you are at a good place when it comes to love, when it comes to new adventures, when it comes to new things that you're being gifted towards or like in some way entranced by um there's a lot of new opportunities for you to grow to expand your horizon to really develop your skills when it comes to you know learning what it is to perceive people and how to communicate clear and not be so harsh. Because I feel like a lot of recently Pisces have gone through this period in their life where they're, be, they're very cunning with their words. Very spiteful with their words. And I don't know if it's because they're going through something personally and internally. And then just, you know, becoming the victim for say. I'm not saying all of you are. But I feel like for some of you, like, feeling like you're... You're at a place where you want to move forward, whether it becomes love of something or love in general. And I feel a lot of you have had a lot of disappointments when it comes to manifesting things that you want. And a lot of you've had to get out of this cycle of past traumas, past wounds, past people that aren't working for you, past situations. <clears throat> of how you've handled things thus far. Excuse me. I'm <laughs> drinking my coffee, trying to wake up a little bit. You know, past traumas, maybe as a child that you developed. And it was like a coping mechanism to get through the next thing. And holding on to valuable, you know, valuable memories of something that happened in childhood and um, I feel like a lot of you are when it comes to money especially how you're handling it not all of you but I just feel like you're not really like maybe it's an endless win on the situation when it comes to an endless fruit like you're putting more into something than you're really getting now. And I feel like that has to stop. Um, maybe it's a past intention of someone. A past person or a past situation. And I think for some of you. You're on the verge to greatness. You're on the verge for developing more of your skills. I just feel like a lot of you are still holding on to things that once were that is still holding on to these ideas that just because I was victimized or just because no one gives a shit about me that I can't give a shit about myself you know I just feel like it's about self-care self indulgement per se because I feel like a lot of you you give to a lot of these people or resources or I was thinking feng shui, but gift to these people and you're not getting what you need. And I feel like the call is self-care. It always is. 
whether we want to admit it or not. You know, when we're giving too much or we're expecting too much for people to come forward for us, it's balancing act. And I feel like a lot of you, you know, you, you've gotten to this place where you're not, you're not going to expect less. And I feel like if someone's not going to do the same for you, then they're out of your life. They're an, out of an existence of your life, per se. Like, they're not really a part of your life anymore. Like, they are dead to you. Um, I feel like it's having the courage to speak up. Having the courage to maybe soften how you perceive people. Maybe tone it down when it comes to you know, not so much elevating yourself, not so much saying that you know it all. When, yeah, you're very intuitive, just like a cancer. You're very intuitive. You see past the breaking points. You see, you know, the end results of things. But I feel like a lot of you, some of you, not all of you, have a bad tendency of just seeing the end of something instead of actually the beginning of something and not fully working in it you know a lot of you put a lot of time and effort into a lot of endless drama or it's ending um a lot of you you know had a lot of setbacks in life recently where you wanted to move forward maybe on a project maybe on a career path or just something there's been endless setbacks and I feel like you, you choose if you're going to be in these predicaments of setbacks, some of them. I feel like a lot of them, you know, are undeniable, you know, of the shakeups that you've been through. You know, it's undeniable, you know, of how much you love. As co-creators, as people that, you know, embody almost like this godlike energy. Kind of like Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo, but almost like where you have a sense of heaven on earth. But also you, you feel the deep emotion connections of people that you know when they're going to do something. You know when they're going to act a certain way at a certain time or do certain things. And I feel like you're prepared for that. But what you're not prepared for is the things you're not prepared for. And that is letting things be. And I think that's been an adjustment for you is, you know, there's a lot of people counting on you to come forward for them. But also, too, you guys have been shutting yourself out, whether that's truly stepping up to the plate when it comes to love maybe shutting out love because you don't feel like love exists in some way like how can love exist when I've been denied when I've been rejected when I've been put in this place of disarray you know what else is there but hell you know I just feel like it's so much about your perspective on a situation as it is, you know, being in a negative environment. I think it's about coming back to source. And a lot of you, I feel like there's this need or maybe push to do something great. But I just feel like right now you're just waiting it out. You're just waiting for what falls in your lap, waiting for things and maybe a a loan to come through or uh, a settlement to come through so you can move forward. But I feel like if you're not in that energy yet, it's never going to happen. So you already have to own it. You already have to feel it. You already have to touch it and smell it, you know. And that's something I personally am learning, especially I have Pisces and Rising. So I'm on that level with you guys. You know, you have to taste things. You have to feel things before they're here. Like, you know they're coming. You know they're here. They're already here. They're, it's like, it's not a question. They're already here, you know. Meaning, you know, things are already brought to you. Um, there is love here for a lot of you. Whether it's new love, whether it's uh, existing love relationship. There's a love triangle, triangle, I'm feeling. Communication may not have been easy. 
words dwindling back to this victim mentality. And I feel like you guys want to get out of the conflict with a certain person. Whether energetically you're tied to this person and you want to communicate what you've been feeling and the conflicts you've been dealing with. Or it's just a need to retreat. The need to move on and forward past this breaking point that a lot of you this month, or not this month, a lot of the this year in general, um, there's a big shakeup that when it happened to a Pacific person, it just blew off from there. And it caused effect, whether it's a positive effect or a negative effect. And I feel like you guys want to move forward. You don't want to be the the bad guy in the situation when it comes to other people in conflicts. I just feel like if you're waiting for something to come to you that is past related, it's not going to come to you. And I think that's probably the disappointment that something's not coming through for you or people aren't really seem to value your self-worth or see you as some god or goddess um but i think it's about seeing your self-worth in this situation i think that's probably the new beginning for some of you who don't feel like you're connecting with people in the li the right forms of people but i feel like a love is here so that's something to be grateful for. That's something to be thankful for. You know, coming into union with yourself is a plus side. And I feel like a lot of Pisces, a lot of them, they know their worth. And they don't have to get it from anyone. They really don't. I just feel like if you're in a relationship that's not giving you exactly what you need, and you know, you have to get back to source. You have to get back to your, your callings, your plans of action. You know, and if there are people that really love you, they're going to step up for you. People that only want to take advantage of you, you know, they're, they're not really going to be there to support you. They're going to be taking your energy more than anything. Anyways, let me get more clear, clarification going on. All right, Pisces. Um, I feel like some of you are set, trying to set people up for, um, success you're trying to do everything you can to set people i mean this is for some of you who i feel um resonate with this so don't get mad at me if it doesn't resonate um some of you i feel like you're you're in a period where i feel like some of you are trying to set up a good look a good look a good home um a good place where you can feel more comfortable or for your family to have more of a comfortable place living arrangements um but i think it's about taking the success of not so much worrying about if everyone's okay in this situation not setting up everyone up for success but setting yourself up for success being already in that energy that you know People may have not showed up completely 100% for you in the past. But I feel like, you know, we have Nine of Swords here in Judgment. So there's a Judgment call. There's about going within, seeing past the illusion of it all. Seeing past the anxiety. Recovering from a traumatic, maybe childhood, event that happened or something that's a shakeup. Whether it was in the past weeks, whether it's past months. Um, but getting a damper idea on that. And really facing your demons. Facing the obstacles in your way. To get out of this energy of feeling like you have to be the victim. You don't have to be the victim. Not unless you choose to be the victim. And I feel like a lot of you, you know, you want a new beginning. Whether it's in love. Whether it's this new opportunity, new passion in life. But I feel like in order to do that, you have to claim your power. You know, devil card, I always think, I, I think, you know, it's almost like a snake. You know, a lot of people want to damper the idea of um, a snake. 
snakes are very powerful. Like any totem animals, those are probably one of the totem animals you want to have because snakes in general, um, it's about taking your power back. And I feel like that's why the devil card is showing up. It's reminding you in the month of December, you know, we're in a new age of time, especially 2020 coming up. It's not time to just dwindle in the past and live in the regrets of life. It's time to dampen down. It's time to get, you know, our claws into something that's actually going to full-time invest our life and make our life better. And I feel like the devil card is here to empower you. You know, there's a lot of enlightenment. There could have been enlightenment. Truths were spoken as past years or months or decades. You know, maybe in some way this was your journey for some long. But I feel like it's about recreating your story now into the Ace of Wands, into passion, into desire of what could be for you. And a lot of you've invested in, you know, family, time, resources. And it's about being stable within yourself, being solid within yourself, whether you're alone at it or not. And I feel like... A lot of people freak out, and I recently seen this. A lot of people freak out when they're alone. I don't know why. Or the fear of being alone. And, you know, there was a point in my life when I felt like I was going to be alone. And I feel like, you know, if you want new love to come in, or just love in general, like the energy to flow through you, you know, you have to stop looking for it. Because it's not going to happen to you when you look for it. It's going to happen to you when you least expect it. And I think that's maybe some Pisces problems. Is they're putting in all these expectations that something is just going to fall through their laps. When if you're already in these energy that I'm love, why wouldn't anyone want me? But I am lovable. I'm acceptable. I am desirable, um, everybody wants me, I don't know, just try to change it up a little bit, you know, the, I feel like love is waiting for you, for a lot of you who haven't found it, and I feel like it's not, it's not the sense of wondering if it's ever going to come to you, I think it's about creating the seed of intention, but I think it's also about Letting go the idea of love, letting go of someone, you know, looking for someone, you know, finding hope in a situation. Like maybe if you're dating around, like losing the idea of what love looks like. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you want to be in multiple relationships with people or in situations like that. I don't know, polygrammy, I was thinking that, where, I don't know why that came up, sorry, um, but anyways, maybe you want to take on a new leap of faith on something, it could be in relationship, like I said, polygram, I don't know why that came up, where you're in multiple relationships or codependency on something, but I feel like it's, it's stepping in this energy of newness, like, if you want new love to come to you, you want success to come to you, you want maybe more people to come and draw their energy to you, believe it. Already see yourself there. And that's one thing I notice, like, how our mind is wired. Like, whatever we want is accessible to us, is tangible to us. It's just when we don't feel like it's for us. You know, that's when it becomes... The problem, that's when it becomes the hardship, is when we're in that mode of, like, panic mode. And I feel like some Pisces, not all, but I'll close with this, some Pisces have been in panic mode for months. Where they're thinking they have to do all this work for love and family, for the sake of getting ahead in life. When they're putting themselves in a distraught state of mind and frame where they're in lack so you're going to create more of that but if you're already abundant if you already feel in some way you have it 
in some way you know it's coming, it's a lot better. And it gradually comes to you instead of just, oh, there's this... That's not how the universe works, honestly, where you're like, oh, can I reach it? Can I find it? I mean, it's really hard for even for me to figure out how the universe works sometimes where it's like it's unobtainable, like wealth is untainable or food or resources, you know, are untainable when it's like it's already there. It's just, are you asking and you shall receive. So basically that's the message I'm feeling for you guys. Is have you been asking the universe? Have you been already there in the moment? Like I have it. Love here. I don't have to worry. Because I feel like the more we set up. For failure. Like we literally set up to be in lack. Like we're setting up for a yard sale or something. Or we're setting up you know. The victim mentality, like, oh, uh, I'm going to be out of gas tomorrow, or, or I'm going to, uh, I got to pay all these bills, and I got to be all this. But when we just got to realize those things are already taken care of. What am I franting over? What am I having a panic attack just because um, my light bill is going to be due? You know, I, I mean, that's serious stuff. I just feel like when we get in that panic mode and that fear mentality, and we're creating an environment of fear to live off of fear. And it's like, it's not supposed to be like that. We're supposed to be in the know. You know, I know that everything's going to work out. I may not see it right now, but I know everything's going to work out. And I just have to be willing to access that truth from the universe that, you know, the universe doesn't make mistakes. We get in the way of it. And we want to try to control and be that control freak sometimes. When we already have those things. We're already rich. And it's like people focus so much on wealth. And people focus so much on how they can get their next dollar. When, you know, I know it seems dim right now. But I'm telling you, like, when, when you change your perspective on that, it's not as... It's not as uh, frantic as you may think. Like, you know, I just feel like if you're in that mindset, if you're empowered to think that all good things come to me, you know, nothing bad comes to me, you know, then it's not going to happen. You know, you're going to be in that mind frame that, you know, things are going well for me. It may not feel like it, but I know that everything's going to work out for my highest good. Anyways, bye-bye.